Welcome to the Get Published Podcast, sponsored by Birdie Consulting Group. To get more information about our coaching, publishing, executive ghostwriting, and podcast production services, go to getpublishedpodcast.com. Hello, I am Paul Birdie, and thank you for joining us for another episode of the Get Published Podcast, where we help authors get published with a proven system that works. Today, we're being joined by Dr. Carl Fortner, author of the Ultimate LinkedIn and Facebook Workbook. Dr. Carl, welcome to the show. Thank you, Paul. Well, we are thrilled to have you. Are you ready to begin? Let's go at it. All right. Question number one. What is the one piece of advice that you would give to a first-time author who is currently writing their book? I think the best piece of advice that I could give is when you feel like writing, keep writing because it's easier to edit extra material than it is to come up with additional material when you have to. Absolutely. I feel the same way. I'm a streak writer. So when the momentum hits, I can knock out an entire book in 24 hours. But it's one of those things, if I don't have the inspiration, it's definitely much more of a challenge. Absolutely. Well, what do you feel is the hardest part about getting published? For me, I believe the hardest part about getting published was how many different options there are, whether you're looking to self-publish, whether you're looking to use a company to publish, or whether you're looking to promote your book. There's so many different options out there, and there's no real clear guidance as to which one checks all the boxes that you want to have checked. Sometimes it's because, especially if you haven't written a lot, it's because you really don't know what those boxes are yet that need to be checked. And then with your book, you went down the um, self-publishing route. Is that correct? That is correct. I went down the self-publishing route. And how was your experience going down that path? Uh, It was good. Um, I had some support from... uh, local area nonprofits that uh, were interested in the book and were interested in promoting the book. So it was easy for me to to self-publish and uh, get the word out on the book and get some sales. Well, speaking of publishing, I'd like to transition now into the marketing phase. And that is, if you could please share a marketing strategy that you have used in your book launch that has worked well. Okay. The ultimate LinkedIn and Facebook workbook was designed with the thought in mind of the number of people who are either looking for work or are looking to improve their position at work. Uh, To that end, I work with some nonprofits in the local Phoenix, Arizona area, um, and I launched the book uh, initially with Career Connectors, which is a 501c3 here in the Phoenix area that matches up people with opportunities for careers, not just jobs, and puts a very high value on using social media and LinkedIn to be able to get the word out there on who you are, what you are, and what you're looking for well beyond just things like cover letters and resumes. Uh, So I premiered the book at one of their uh, events, and then from there uh, promoted it with some other local uh, nonprofit organizations to reach the market that I was looking to reach. So it sounds like you did a lot of partnership with nonprofits, is that correct? That's correct. What was your strategy with that? Um. Strategy really came down to it being a win-win situation. Uh, Certainly, it was a win for me to sell books, but it was also a win for uh, their clients and their reputation because they were being given a tool that would help them step-by-step get through the process of being able to promote themselves in such a way that they could be successful in their career search or their search for the next rung on the corporate ladder. Excellent. And what was your strategy when you reached out to these different nonprofits? Were there ones in particular that you were researching? What was the process with that? 
Uh, I've been volunteering with Career Connector since 2013 as a coach, um, coaching LinkedIn and social media for their attendees at their events, which they hold three events uh, each month. Um, from that, I got the idea to put together this book because you sit down with somebody for a few minutes and you talk about uh, processes and you talk about strategies. By the time you dodge traffic and get home, probably 75% or more of that has left your mind. So I wanted to come up with something that was comprehensive, that stepped outside just the box of LinkedIn and was something that they could take home with them and would be something that they could follow step by step, take notes in and actually work through their own profiles and their own personal marketing strategies. Well, speaking of books, I'd like to know what is your favorite book and what was the number one thing that you learned from it? Good question. Um, I would say my favorite book is one that I was introduced to during my doctoral studies. And that's a book called Servant Leadership by Robert Greenleaf. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the number one thing I learned about it is the real relationship that is positive between uh, leaders and the people who they lead. Uh, that relationship being that you are charged with the welfare and the growth and development of those people that you lead. They're not there just to do your bidding. And the more that you invest in helping them get better, the more your organization is going to succeed because the organization will also get better. You'll have a more positive outlook among your employees at work. And there's nothing you can achieve if you work together and help each other grow. Absolutely, making it a win-win. Absolutely. And for a final question, what is your favorite quote and why? My favorite quote is pretty clear. Um, your customer is not your first priority, your people are. Take care of them and they will take care of your customers. And that's from uh, Sir Richard Branson. And what that means to me is that you can control what goes on in your organization, but not what goes on outside your organization. And if you use those premises of servant leadership and help to grow your people and value your people, they're going to show that value to your customers. And they'll understand that your company is in fact a company that shows value instead of just out for another dime. Excellent. Well, Dr. Carl, I want to thank you for being a guest on the show today. What is the best way for people to find you online? Okay, great. The best way to find me is www.drcarlforkner.com. And that'll take you to my website. It has information about me has information about some of the projects I'm doing and also has uh, information on a number of subjects that's uh, updated every week. Well, Dr. Carl, thank you once again for being on the show and I wish you all the best in your author journey ahead. Thank you, Paul. I appreciate you asking me. Thanks again for joining us today. To learn more about how you can be featured in our brand new Get Published Business Book, go to getpublishedpodcast.com.